so this object is a is a, a obviously a buoy. It's been in the water clearly for a long time. It's heavily eroded, and it's also got an enormous colony, or not a colony really, an enormous aggregation of gooseneck barnacles. And these barnacles are quite interesting for a, a number of reasons. Um, their barnacles are suspension feeders. So as this buoy is floating along, the barnacles are, are trying to capture small particles um, from the water. A couple of other really interesting things. Inside these barnacles, we found a number of these small scale worms. There, there, there are two right here. And the scale worms appear to be living right inside the the test, the shells of, of these barnacles, and they're probably also feeding on material, either discarded material from the barnacles or uh, waste products or other, um, other particles that are captured in there. They're also, you can tell that there's a, a big difference in size. Um, there are some large adults here, and then they're also clustered in among them down in this area. There are a lot of small individuals, and um, these are recent recruits, that potentially allows these barnacles to rapidly colonize this whole area. Um, so there's, an, there's almost a whole city of barnacles and associated other, other animals on this one floating buoy. Well, it's a great example of biology making use of all available substrate, including these artificial substrates that, that get in the ocean. Of course, there's nothing new about seeing barnacles on a, on a buoy, but it's, it's interesting to see them here in the gyre and to think about the long distance trajectory that an object like this may be traveling with a whole associated biological community on it. You know, almost every object that we pull out um, has, has organisms living on it. So the, from the small plastic pieces that have algae, diatoms, crabs, we found fish eggs on a lot of the pieces. Barnacles are quite quite common. Um, we found a, uh, a mussel, a blue mussel, which is a coastal species. We found that yesterday on a rope. And you know, again, we're 1,100, 1,200 miles from the, the nearest coastline. And that mussel may have come from a much more distant coastline. Um, so they're really... Uh, there's a huge fouling community on these objects, and that fouling community is being transported around in the gyre. Well, I don't know that we know necessarily what that means, but it certainly implies a dispersal mechanism, and with the, with the increase in objects, that may be the, the man-made objects now in the ocean, that may be enhancing the dispersal of these species. It's creating more structure, um, albeit artificial structure, but it's creating more structure for these fouling organisms to live on.